All right, our next speaker is uh, Eric Burns of Greylock Property Group. Um, Greylock Property Group has been involved in development and income property ownership in New England and in Florida. And also, Eric is a partner in the Central Hall Project. So many of you have been wandering through downtown Mystic wondering what uh, is going on with that big new building project. And Eric's going to tell us he's involved in that project as, as uh, an oversight person for construction, renovation, property management, financing, leasing of the entire Greylock portfolio. So please welcome Eric Burns. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming out, and I appreciate uh, the chamber inviting us to come speak about our project. As you mentioned, there's been a lot of curiosity in terms of what's happening with the Central Hall project, so hopefully I can give you some general information. I may not have all the specifics people are looking for, but I can give you a general oversight of what's happening there, um, some of our timing, and a uh, breakdown of the different components, the retail and the residential piece of it. So if we can get this to work, I'm just going to leave up one of the slides. This is not our, our polished marketing, this is more for our own internal use, but it'll give you a little oversight of what we're looking at. So for those of you not familiar with the Central Hall project, it's a four-story, approximately 33,000 square foot building right in the heart of downtown Mystic, um, built in the water, essentially. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the project, you're probably familiar with the long, long history that we've had here in trying to redevelop this. Um, so we're pleased after many, many years and long, complicated uh, approvals and a recession and after a few false starts that we were finally at a point where we have a building up. And if you've been down through there, you can see that we have um, our, our marine platform, which was constructed about a year ago, which took quite a while. And then we have four stories of a framed building in place. So I'll, uh, I'll just walk you through some of the, the timing of what we have remaining there. Um, so the roof and the exterior weatherproofing, windows, siding, that work will be commencing within the next two weeks. For the scaffolding that's in place there, we're going to be using that to side and finish the rest of the skin of the building, which we anticipate that being done in the September or October time frame, um, with hopefully limited interruptions with, with pedestrian and road traffic there. We've got most of our heavy um, crane work and lifting done in the springtime. So we've, you know, hopefully been of little impact as possible to the users of downtown, to both the visitors and the merchants that are down there. We have a number of other um, buildings that we operate down there. So we've been trying to be as sensitive as possible to getting this complicated, tight site developed with minimal access to the surrounding environment. So in the next, I'd say 30 to 45 days when the, the weatherproofing is complete, that'll allow us to begin our inside construction. We have mechanical contractors hired um, that will start to work on the upper floors. Our, um, our first COs for the building, which will be the start of what will, the public view is completion, will probably take place in the early fall. So we have a couple of retailers that are looking to get in there for later on this year. But in terms of the general public perception of the building being done from the outside, that'll happen later this fall. And there'll be a public walkway, which we might have, there's a view of the rear. So you could see sort of the start of the public walkway that wraps around to the north side of the building, giving uh, visitors direct views of the Mystic River from the back side of the building there. Our uh, retail component, which was, is again the first piece that we're going to have activated there, we have up to seven total retail spaces. Uh, we have commitments from two larger retailers that are taking or combining two of the end spaces. So there will be one larger tenant on each end and we have three spaces in the middle. We've had very strong interest having done leasing downtown for a lot of years, I'd say, especially with the, um, sort of the, the buzz from this project and the general state of downtown Mystic, it's in a stronger place than it's been in a long time. We have more interest now than space for lease down there, which is a great problem that we haven't had in a long time down there. Um, we expect all of the spaces will be up and ready for spring of 2019. We have a few that are committed or interested, but will likely not want to open until 
be clear through the winter season. But that first floor will be fully operational for the spring and the outside of the building will be done for toward the end of, of 2018. And on the upper floors, which is what we often get more questions on, I have a little less specifics in terms of what people might be looking for, but we're gonna be completing a, probably a couple of model units inside there. So we're gonna begin work on that uh, within probably 45 to 60 days. And as all things with this project, we will probably take our time with doing those just to make sure we get the details right. We're, we're big fans of doing things the right way once you get something built and you see there needs to be a little adjustment and we'd like to do that. So we're gonna be working on those couple of model units. Uh, we will be on the higher price point um, for the market like here, but it is a unique product with amazing water views, one floor of living. There'll be two to three bedrooms with an office, three full baths, semi-customizable units. So we'll likely be finishing the units as we get buyers. I think we're anticipating a sellout time of probably two to three years, depending on how sales go. But we are collecting names now. We haven't begun our full marketing efforts for the residential units, but we expect that process will start later on um, in the fall of this year. So I think that's, that's all I had as a general overview. I'm happy to answer any questions if anybody has anything. Yes, sir. Uh, can you discuss briefly what parking arrangements you have for this building? Sure. The residential units will all have two parking spaces assigned to them, um, one in the pump house lot that's leased through the town of Groton, or there's actually eight spaces there, and then there's another lot for a building we own behind 3644 West Main that will both will be gated, so there'll be access for residents only. So each residential unit will have two on that side of the street, and then we also lease a number of spaces in the Mystic Arts Center lot, um, which will be used for visitors and for the merchants there. Is that a uh, rental situation? That's correct. They'll be for sale condominium units at this point. Anything, anything could change, but it, it, the plan at this point is for them to be for sale condominium units. Yes, sir. What types of retailers Um, it's, it's traditional soft goods retailers, so we've, we've also had a number of restaurants which we're not you know, allowed to do per zoning there, nor would I think we'd want to with the, um, the focus being sort of the residential value of the units up above. So we have a couple of clothing retailers that have been committed. Um, we could probably fill the whole building right now with clothing related boutiques, but we're, we're exploring a couple of other options of um, different or unique retailers that you know will have something maybe slightly different than others in, in town but it's, it's sort of say consistent with other retailers that are down there so a mix of clothing gifts um, some homewares that sort of thing we, we actually had that discussion the other day having gone up on the roof which they just laid the decking down for last week and, and we brought some people out and they said you're putting a rooftop bar up here right and it's I, 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 you know, I think there'd be additional layers of approvals for this that, that you know, probably be primitive and access to it would be difficult, but we, uh, it certainly has amazing views, but I don't think at this point there's going to be any additional work up there. But it's a great idea once you, once you get up there and see it's a, a pretty unique perspective that you don't get from many other places in town. Anybody have anything else? All right, thank you.